All right, we've got our blank inventory here, and we're going to draw a sprite on top of it as we pick up things. Right now we just have object pack. We don't have anything to pick up. And there's this basically empty room that we need to throw some stuff into. So the things that you can actually pick up, I'm going to make uh, super quick objects here that you can pick up, such as the object yellow that uses that yellow sprite, and I'll be back. Now I've got those objects made. They don't have anything inside of them. I just threw them into the room. They're empty objects. I'm also going to have to draw this sprite inventory somewhere down along the bottom. I'm actually going to make a new object that that's all that thing does is this kind of uh, ob controller kind of thing. And literally all this thing is going to do is draw things that I need around the level. Um, so inside of the draw event, I'm going to draw a sprite at a certain location. So, so a quick Google search shows us the draw sprite. What do you want to draw? Which frame do you want to draw? And where do you want to draw it? So draw sprite. Well, we want to draw sprite. Which sprite? We want to draw SPR inventory. Which sub-image? Uh, zero. The, the only frame there is, because it starts counting from zero, I think. Now the x, y, I'm not really sure. I'm going to type in 500, 500. I know that's wrong, but I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. I think since my inventory is anchored in the top left, I'm going to want it somewhere around here, this 250. I'm looking at these numbers in the bottom corner, 256 by 574. Oops. Oh, I got too many things open again. There we go. 256 by 574. Let's save that. Now that object will only draw that if it's in the room. So we'll just throw him in there. It's a question mark, means it doesn't have a sprite associated with it. It's just doing a job for us. So let's play this and see what it looks like so far. Hey, there's our little inventory thing. Nothing happens when we collide with the objects. We haven't programmed that yet. And we hide behind our inventory, which is disconcerting. We could just rearrange our uh, layers in our uh, layers over here specific layer for the GUI if we wanted. Anyways, not worried about that now, but I need to move that down about, how far was that? Oh, about, I don't know, 60 pixels or so. X, Y. So let's say like a, 6.30 or so. Let's see what that does. Eh, about another 15 pixels. And then we'll call it good. Looks nice. Hanging out there on the bottom. Yours will depend on what you use, of course. All right, now we've got our room that we can go pick up things. We want to say when I collide with this thing, I should now have uh, the pistol. So I'm going to, whoops. Inside my Pac-Man, I'm going to say when I collide with misspelled yellow, several things are going to happen. One, I'm going to say global dot has yellow and I just made that up and I made it global so that my controller could also read that information if I just said has yellow only my guy would know that I have the weapon so when I collide with the pistol it's going to say yep now you've got it and I'm also gonna say with other 
because I want to destroy the thing I just ran into. Instance destroy. I think it's something like that. Is that right? Yeah, you could do it all on one line. Um, like that? Is that how you have yours? You would destroy all those objects. Yeah. Now, let's give this a whirl. Let's see what happens. Hey, it worked. We picked up this, the pistol. Now, we want that pistol to start showing up in our inventory, right? So in the draw event, we're only going to draw that pistol if what? Yeah, if global dot has pistol is equal to one, then, and I always indent so it looks pretty, we're going to basically do this exact same thing. So I'm going to copy that into there, except that's not the sprite we're drawing. We're drawing sprite. yellow at well I'll leave these values the same and we'll adjust from there it's not gonna be right it's gonna be to the right a little bit but anyways let's see what happens we might it, we might get an error yep because this guy says uh, I don't know what it is the reason it doesn't know what this is yet is because it doesn't even get declared until my guy runs into it. This is where global.hasYellow gets declared. So what we really need to do is inside of our controller, we need to say, okay, when the game starts, let's make a few things clear. We have a bunch of variables and we need to declare what they are. So global.has yellow is no we don't have it same for a bunch of other things very similar so has orange nope you don't have that or actually we'll make them we'll put these in order yeah you don't have any of those things you don't need the semicolon if you don't want, but that way, when it runs the game, it knows what that variable is. Just kidding. Global dot has, oh, not pistol, I called it. We didn't call it has pistol, we called it has yellow. There we go. There we go. So we don't have the yellow, but as soon as we get the yellow, it shows up in my inventory. I have to fix my XYs, but it works. It looks like it jumped it down there, but it didn't. Okay. So I know I need to drop that down Y pixels, like 100 and some. So we'll say like, I don't know, 760 or so. You can play around with that and get your pistol to show up down there, but it's interesting because, whoop, I think I jumped it a little too far. The zero is what frame of your sprite do you want to draw? There, now it shows up in my inventory. Lovely. There it is. The zero is if you have a whole bunch of sprites, this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So you tell it which frame you want to use. So there we go. It's drawing it in the correct place only once we have the yellow. So now we have this draw event. I'm going to paste it. 
three times because each one of these should only be drawn once their global is turned on. Now, of course, the X value on these is going to be quite different, and I'm not really sure what that looks like, but we'll just throw some numbers in there and see what happens. And when my pack collides with, and I'm going to copy this from my yellow, when pack collides with orange, and this is again why I'm using GML, is it's so much easier to copy and paste code. Yep, if has orange is equal to one, or set that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then destroy the instance. No, 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 not that. Not that. Not that. When you collide with purple, run some code and set a variable. All right, let's play this and see if our inventory shows up. Oop, we drew we drew the wrong thing in the wrong place. And same for that, and same for that. So we did a horrible job on where we draw and what we draw. Should probably fix that. When I collide with orange, all right, controller, you're drawing the wrong thing. <laughs> yep, sure am. Sprite orange should be there. Sprite purple should be there. Now let's see if we can do it. Okay, I get the yellow. It shows yellow down there. Orange, not even close, but we need to put him over there. And purple. So we need to move both of those over like 200 and some pixels probably. Orange, let's make you 550. Let's make that like 7 something. Let's see if that works. Oh, purple, a little far. Orange, too far. Yikes. Let's make it like that. Make that six. And you get the idea. You can adjust these. Yeah, getting closer. I'll fix those up. All right. Part one done.